A toddler was left in a daycare van in freezing temperatures. Now her parents and the business owner are asking how this happened. Alex Love spoke with the daycare provider this morning and learned that there are steps in place to keep track of the kids in their care. Many were skipped the day this happened. Alex, what do we learn about this? Well, John, back on Friday, four-year-old Makia Artis was, was picked up at her home by Van Services. Her daycare, Living Waters, child care provides to families. But after they arrived to the preschool facility, she was left inside the van all day. The family says they noticed something was off after she was dropped after she was dropped off back at home over 30 minutes late at the end of the day. She was also feeling very cold because after they got to the living to, uh, because after they got to living waters earlier Friday morning, the van monitor forgot about her being in the back of the van sleeping. Management says that that the management says that their sign in protocol was not followed either because Macchio was never signed in by the transportation employee, so she was ruled absent for the day until it was time for dismissal and she was found in the back seat after nine hours. The family says she was, ve she was very cold and, she and, and, and they looked for signs of hypothermia, but the child is doing okay. But they, but they have since pulled her from living waters and they demand accountability. Nine hours in the cold on a bus, like 18 degrees, snowing all day long. The bus seats are lather. The bus windows had to been covered with snow where she couldn't even see out because it snowed all day long. So she just slept balled up in a ball on a cold leather seat for nine hours. The driver as well as the monitor were immediately terminated on Friday. And they are both fully aware of that. A certified letter went out today. I did a verbo and their letters went out today. So they're no longer with the company. Living Waters owner Sarah Dunbar added she herself immediately reported this incident to the proper state agencies while also apologizing to the parents of Makia. But the grandmother, Brenda Powell, says they still plan to get a lawyer as the investigation continues. Live in the newsroom, Alex Love, News 8.